In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download and install a license version ArcGIS Pro. So once you have uh, purchased the ArcGIS Pro, now go to the browser and just type in ArcGIS Pro and hit the button enter. You can see desktop GIS software mapping analysis ArcGIS Pro. So click on this link. and move to your account profile settings and under that you can find the option my esri click on my esri now you can see the option downloads select downloads you can uh, select arcgis pro click on select arcgis pro and here you can see the uh, arcgis pro So this version is ArcGIS 3.3. Here you can find the methods, how to install and uh, the basic requirements. So you can see, you can check on the top, top section where uh, you can see the system requirements, just click and here you can find the system requirements operating system uh, hardware requirements minimum optimal recommended so you can find the details now going back so here you can select uh, any language lot of languages available so defaultly it will be in english and you can see ArcGIS Pro. Hit the button download. As you can see here, the download has been started. If you want, you can also uh, download ArcGIS Pro offline help. So this should be installed after installing the ArcGIS Pro main version. You can install this ArcGIS Pro offline help. If you want, you can download and install it separately. So we have successfully downloaded the ArcGIS Pro. Let us see it in the file manager. So now let us install this ArcGIS Pro. Double click. So be before that, as you are there in the uh, minimum system requirements, you can see an option other versions where you can download 3.1 3. sorry 3.1 and 3.2 versions of ArcGIS Pro also whichever you are interested in so now you can see here click the option next the file will be started for extracting so you can see here let us close the program will be started once again so you can see here so ArcGIS Pro requires a Microsoft .NET uh, desktop runtime 8.0 so let us download that so after uh, clicking on this link it is automatically redirecting so after clicking on this link, the website will be opened. So I'll be sharing this link in the description also. You can just check it out. So for downloading it for a Windows, I'm going to use Into 64. So the download has been started. Yeah. yeah, it's going on. So I'll be sharing this link. You can check it out, or you can directly uh, uh, open the browser and just type in .NET version 8.0 for Windows. Please download it from the Microsoft website. So the file has been successfully downloaded. Let us view it in the folder. So let us install the .NET 
So as you can see here, the, inter the installation was successfully done. So let us close this and we will go back to the ArcGIS. Okay, we just uh, we are just going to install it once again. So once again, click on this uh, application. Yes, override it. Let us wait for the extraction to be complete. Okay, now let us close it and start the program. So click on next, next. Yes, I accept the master agreement. Click on next. So I'm going to click next. So if you want to work with AA models, you can select uh, this feature will be installed like this. Otherwise you can leave it as it is. A tool suggestions. So leave it as it is and go to the option next. Unselect this and select install. So now let us hit finish. So we have been asked for the username and password. So when you are buying uh, the software, that time you might be created your username and password. So let us put in this, put in here. And now enter the password. And finally hit the button sign in so it will be started to configure you can also sign in using browser by clicking on this option you can do so so I have waited there for uh, five to ten minutes so let me hit the sign in using browser button so I'm going to hit has So once again, I am going to put my username and password. Now we are going to input the password. Now I am going to hit sign in. So you can see here it has been automatically redirected. So now click on the option map. In the upcoming videos, we'll be seeing how to use ArcGIS Pro. That will be very useful if you are a beginner. So thanks for watching. If you have any other doubts, please do ask in the comment section. Thank you everyone.